The Dynamic Web Client Bowie was originally written over a decade ago, using the standards and capabilities available at the time, namely the Google Web Toolkit, or GWT. And it continues to provide an easy path for publishing vPro5 and BBJ GUI apps to the web. But now we're designing a new type of client with a different focus. It will retain overall BBJ API compatibility, but there will be no guarantee of precise compatibility for the size, position, and appearance of BBJ controls. Instead, its primary focus is geared towards responsive design, using layout strategies to dynamically size and position controls based on the available screen space to ensure apps work well on a variety of devices. Performance. Reducing the amount of JavaScript needed by the client and eliminating unnecessary client-server round trips. Extensibility. Allow for the integration of arbitrary web components to add support for reusable custom controls. Let's take a quick look at some of those items. Responsive design. BBJ programs have always specified the absolute size and position for BBJ controls, which is incompatible with responsive and adaptive layouts. So while Bowie will still be the client of choice for those that require complete control over size and position, the new client will take advantage of other layout options. These are based on CSS and may involve Flexbox or grid layouts, media queries, and even CSS frameworks like Bootstrap for developing responsive and mobile-first apps. Our first example is a small demo app that displays an input form, similar to the customer contact information section of our product download page. The app uses BBJ custom classes to facilitate using Bootstrap's grid system by providing models for containers, rows, and columns to lay out and align content. The app responds to different screen sizes and device orientations by modifying the size and position of the controls. Notice that when there's plenty of screen real estate, it displays the form with multiple columns. But when run on a phone or any screen with limited width, the layout adapts to the available space and arranges the input controls vertically, even going so far as to relocate the labels above the input controls. Unlike some current apps that use BBMIG for layout, due to the implementation of the new client, there are no client-server round trips involved in getting the client's available space, determining the optimal control layout, and resizing and repositioning the controls. Therefore, it reacts to client changes immediately and responds to orientation changes instantly. Additionally, since this demo is using Bootstrap, it's possible to use custom Bootstrap themes to change the appearance of the application without resorting to writing custom CSS. Just swap in a new Bootstrap CSS file and the controls change their appearance accordingly. Performance. The new client does not use GWT and instead relies on custom JavaScript. So instead of downloading over a megabyte of GWT JavaScript code, regardless of how many and what type of controls are used inside the app, the new client only downloads six kilobytes of JavaScript code that dynamically creates JavaScript functions based on the app's controls. This means that it never incurs the cost of downloading unnecessary JavaScript. For a working example, let's look at the Tip Calculator app that was originally demonstrated at TechCon 11. It loads much more quickly than the Bowie version, since it requires JavaScript that totals less than 1% of the full GWT code. Additionally, Bowie makes 31 requests for CSS, JavaScript, images, etc. to get up and running, but the new client only makes 10 requests, four of which are for the custom images used in the app, so there's much less startup overhead. Extensibility Simple controls, like a BBJ button, are built using standard HTML controls, but complex controls, like the BBJ input end control, will be built as web components. The new client will also support web components as a way to add new controls beyond what GUI and Bowie currently offer. This will obviously require some sophisticated programming, but the Basis EU team has already started working on this and it's already possible to swap out the default BBJ button 
with a web component, such as this shoelace button. But even at this early stage, the new client is able to run some of our previous demos, such as this weather app, which is also from Tekon 11. It only uses a handful of different control types, so it's a great candidate for the new client. 